Pacific and around the world. Congressman Torres, is it because you took all the money from APAC? Don't call us Russian apologists or Chinese apologists. You are an Israel apologist. Secretary Austin, you said yourself 25,000 women and children. You said yourself. Stop supporting. The world is not safer. Stop supporting mass murder. Fabulous. Support Israel starving children. I love Israel. I support Israel. They're starving children. I love Israel. My name is Medea Benjamin, and for the last year, I, along with many other wonderful activists, have been walking the halls of Congress here, trying to get the members to do something about the ongoing killing that Israel is doing in Gaza. Killing 30,000 civilians doesn't make anyone safe. Killing 30,000 civilians, 10,000 children. We followed them around everywhere we can. We've gone to their offices, we've gone to the hearings, we've gone to the hallways when they're walking, we've gone to the uh, tunnels where they take these little trams to get to the Capitol. We've even confronted them in the cafeteria, anywhere where we can get hold of them to ask them these critical questions. Some of the questions we've been asking them, why do you keep supporting the genocide in Gaza? Why don't you do something to stop U.S. weapons from going to Israel? Israel. What can we do to stop Please funding stop Israel's genocide. Piece of genocide? Every hospital has been destroyed, and you have a civilian population of too much. All right, so what can we do? What are you doing? We see the U.S. complicit in this. What can we do to refund the UN agency that sends humanitarian aid to Gaza called UNRWA? The United Nations was moronic for creating UNRWA. You are heartless. You can say do you realize you how heartless you are? These children are being slaughtered, and now you want to take away the last bit of food and water and supplies and medicine? Do you, you want to what, take the last you know what bit they have? It yeah. all makes sure your tax dollars don't go to UNRWA. People starving to death. The half a million people starving to death are people that should go out there and put a government in place that doesn't go out there and attack Israel on a daily basis. Starved. So, kids, seven-year-olds, seven-year-olds, nine-year-olds. These are not innocent Palestinian the civilians babies, across the world. When, what can we do to stop Israel from blocking humanitarian aid? Are you willing to call on our Israeli allies to open up the borders so that they no, let the aid in? Maybe this this port thing is the way to do it. I'm all Sir, for it. the port is inefficient. They're, well, they're murdering the civilians. Say. They're starving well, the Hamas, population. No, no, Hamas should surrender. You cannot, sir, you so cannot, Hamas, it's not take, justified. You're it's taping not justified. this, right? Correct. Hamas should surrender so that the people there could stop suffering because of them. Justify 32,000 dead, a starvation, a famine. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's it's not, not, sir, no, you are lying right now. You are lying. You're supporting genocide. Why are they always having hearings that are about anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, and never about anti-Palestinian hate? Are you going to do any hearings about the attacks on people who are against genocide? Don't no. even think about it. I've got things to do. And why do you think um, anti-Semitism is a problem and not anti-Islamophobia? Uh, you're not welcome on this elevator. It's a members only. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why, why, do you know why are you destroying why are you the lives of so many young people? Yes, on why are you attacking children and teachers who are just trying to speak up for Palestinians? the elevator. Why are I you have doing work that? To do. Yeah, have your work, work is officer, right officer. What do they think about the rulings that have come out from UN bodies like the International Criminal Court? or the International Court of Justice. And, uh, and how are you feeling about sanctioning the uh, ICC? No, well, they've been investigating Israel for almost a decade now. Because they've always hated Israel. They hate all Jews. I don't think so. No, they, they hate Jews. The ICC hates Jews? Yes. <laughs> These are just some of the questions that we've been asking them for the past year. What have we encountered? Well, some of them do talk to us and we have a nice dialogue. Many of them are very hostile towards us. I sound like an idiot because I asked you if you went to the Netanyahu speech. 
dressed up. Because I'm dressed up saying I like Palestinian rights and I think I'm an idiot. Yeah. For what? For caring about human rights? No, for dressing up like a clown. Oh, there's Miss Benjamin. Just, just, you, you are terrible. Why? You're just a. Yeah. Oh, you are disgusting. Why? You're pro Hamas. I'm not pro Hamas. Oh, you are. You're pro collective <laughs> punishment. You support Gaza. You support terrorism. Get out of my face. How much does Hamas pay you to harass me? Oh, actually zero. But uh, so how what, much does so Israel what, so pay you to vote for genocide? Which terrorist organization? How much does APAC pay you? Pay you? How much do the terrorist organizations Zero. How much pay, does you to pay you There's other Congress people who've actually grabbed our phones out of our hands. You want this genocide to continue? You want the killing of my people, my oh, Palestinian don't people? Shut to up! Lock it off. On the other hand, I love when we brought children to Congress, and they were calling for the members of Congress to save the lives of the children in Gaza. Some of them came with beautiful poems. Uh, some of them gave heartfelt messages that had all of us, including members of Congress, crying. I also liked when we brought the grandmothers who sang in the halls of Congress. Not the way to peace and we must all say no. And one day we had the actress Susan Sarandon who joined us, and that was wonderful because we had lots of people who came with us. And we even found members of Congress who were great fans of the actress, and so they wanted to talk to us. Um, what other memorable times? Oh, I loved when we draped the Palestinian flag from the halls of the Senate building, and also we dropped banners saying, end the genocide in Gaza. Uh, I love the singing that we did in the cafeteria with the interfaith group saying uh, that children are starving in, in Gaza while you are eating. We always look for creative ways to get our message across and one of them was the signing of the word killer when Secretary of State Blinken was testifying. It was sad to see us get arrested. None of us like to get arrested but they were very powerful moments. The times we've got arrested in Congress, um, they are not pleasant moments. I remember when one of the uh, women officers was patting me down in a very aggressive way right in the halls in front of the public. And we have had other times when the police are shouting at us, threatening to even take children away from their parents if they protest. Um, we get followed around by police all the time. Uh, it is really insane that those of us who are trying to stop violence, those of us who are dedicated to peace, are the ones who are harassed by the police when the people who are in Congress who are authorizing bombs going to kill children, maim children, starve children, are the ones that the police are protecting. Get these people the hell out of my face. I'm not you in your face. I'm walking through the halls of Congress. Would you get them out of my face? The halls of Congress are for the people. I don't have to people. listen to your stupidity. You're, you're supposed you to represent the people. people. I don't have to listen to this crap. Sir, I just told you that you're voting. He's the one yelling at us. We're US citizens I was telling here. him very That's politely. Right Shame on you. you. You betrayed your own people, and you will be known as a genocide supporter. All right. There are some members of Congress, especially some of the Republicans, like Nancy Mace and Brian Mast, who make it very clear that they don't care about the lives of the Palestinian people. What about the rising death toll for children in Gaza? Is that something that I concerns you? I love Israel you? and every Jewish citizen of Israel and here in the United States. Do you love I Palestinians? Support, I support Israel 100%. And I hope they bomb the hell out of Hamas and wipe them off the map. Do you love Palestinians? Happy 4th of July. Do you love Palestinians? Can you say that you love Palestinians? How about Palestinian Americans? Do you love them? You didn't have your phone yesterday. What? You were uh, do you love Palestinian phone? Americans? Do they pay you to do this? Or no, is this like do they pay you? Effort? How much money do you get from their pay? I 
wholeheartedly support Israel. The Democrats, they have a different tactic. They act like they care about the Palestinians, but then they keep authorizing more weapons to be sent to Israel. So in the end, it's the same thing. It's the U.S. supporting Israel's genocide. We're also really frustrated by the impact of AIPAC, which is so strong in this Congress. We see some people like Richie Torres who are only in Congress thanks to the millions of dollars from AIPAC. And of course, he votes for Israel every single time. We also see the influence of the Christian Zionists. My grandparents taught me the Jewish faith. The Jews are the chosen people by God. This is a godly decision on my part. Read Genesis 12:3. Uh huh. But that's why. Do, do you read the Bible? I don't read the Bible. You don't? No, no okay, I'm so not a religious person. Okay, so you're an atheist. I'm an agnostic. Agnostic. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, I'll pray for you. Let me tell you a statistic. Uh -huh, yeah, please. Israel will oh, exist. Yeah. The Jewish state will exist. That's not a it statistic. Will always exist. That's not what we're, and that is for God to do nothing and to do with what we're saying. You're and I will always support Israel. Genocide, I will always support Israel. Israel and you can tell the Palestinians, I will I never support them. I am a Palestinian them. myself. Then I will I'm tell you, I will never face. support you. Yeah. I will tell you to your and face. You want my, you, you want, you you want want my cousin to die. Goodbye, will support Goodbye Palestine. to Palestine. Goodbye to Palestine. Goodbye to Palestine. Palestine. We will support yeah. Israel forever. Have we been able to move members of Congress? I would say some, not enough. And what about this uh, issue of sending more money to Israel? I don't know. I don't know. Until last week, I would have said definitely sending more money. We see, of course, more and more members of Congress calling for a ceasefire, but more important for us is that we're seeing a move to stop sending weapons to Israel. One of the things that has been very hopeful is the number of staffers in all kinds of offices that have come out and said to us, we love your work. Please keep coming back to our offices. We agree with you. We're trying to change things from the inside. And this really reflects a big generational gap that exists in our country where the younger people in this country, especially Jewish Americans, are totally different than the older generation who wants to keep supporting Israel. So it is a very hopeful sign that things are changing in this country. Congress might be the last ones to change, but the American people are changing and eventually they're going to have to catch up with us.